Hello everyone for this interview. I'm in Milan, Italy, and I'm privileged to interview Filipina supermodel Annie Marcello or Annie Marcello in the Philippines. It's even here, it's Marcello. Marcello pa din, <laughs> di ba Marcello? Ano? Ah, okay. No, no, no. I always corrected him. Kinocorrect mo sila. Yeah, because I'm not Marcello. Oh, di ba Marcello ka naman, di ba? You know, she was actually the top model during those times, no, Ani? Ani, kwento mo naman, paano ka nag-start? Oh, how I started? Um, I was selling cars and I met huh? uh, direct uh, Shanin Carlos. Ka and he wanted me to um, to be <laughs> to be an actress, but I didn't want to. Okay. So uh, after several months, he didn't insist. After several months, he called me and he said, "Ani, I need a favor this time." I said, "Tell me, Derek, is something wrong with your car?" No, 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 no. I need a bride Kasi for my siya movie. Ng car. Okay. I need a bride for my movie, and I said. Oh, but I told you that I'm so busy, I don't have time. No, 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 I can promise you only three days of shooting. Okay, but I don't have time to um, fit um, a wedding gown. Okay. So, Fiel Sabat. Okay, si Fiel, mm -hmm. yes. So, oh. Fiel came to Fortune Motors okay. and uh, took my measurements and my height. And then at the shooting place, uh, the driver with a bridal gown arrived. And Fiel said, Oh, Ani, let's, ano, sukat mo muna kasi uh, kung merong alterations, ipapabalik natin. Okay. So we went to the toilet and uh, and then I fitted it and shoot. Eh, okay. No more, nothing to do. So he sent the driver back. But he called Rene Sagud first. He said, Mama. Ah, talaga kay Mama. Uh, oh. Walang alteration. So ipapabalikin ko na yung driver mo. In less than 20 minutes, Rene Salud was at the uh, at the location uh, shooting and asked me, think what will be his first question. Would you like to model? No. I know. <laughs> first question of Rene Salud whenever he has uh, a discovery. Oh. Ano tinano? Maybe not anymore now. Oh, siguro. Oh. Gusto mo sumali sa binibigay mo? Ah, o, oh, pageant pa kasi dati, oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yes, oo. Oh. But I said, what? You see those two boys, they are my sons. Ah, sige, Mrs. Philippines na lang. No, 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 no. It's not my time. Anong time na yun? May, mga, may anak ka na. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, so, uh, nagkasundo kami na I won't be a model, I won't be anything, but... Melanie Marquez was there with him. Okay. Melanie and Sabrina. Or Tabby. No, Sabrina, the, the assistant. Ah, okay. Jay. okay oh. Ah, si Jay. Yeah. Jay Losada. Oh, oh. He doesn't want to be called Sabrina. Oh, no yeah. more, no more. Anyways. <laughs> Jay, pasensya na. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, si Melanie is makulit. When she came back from Japan, we met. I was going out of Rene Salud's shop and he, she was coming. I said, oh, oh, please, 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 wait for me, wait for me. I'll just uh, say hi and then come back. Okay. And I said, do you really earn a lot selling cars? And I said, yeah. Ah, I know, a lot of people. Can you give me percentage if I give you... Um, clients. Clients and, uh, and, and uh, you sell to them? I said, Melanie, you want to earn? Yeah? Come with me. Set the appointment and then we sell together. Okay. We sold three cars. Talaga? I realized at the end it was just her excuse. For? Because she said, oh, we so after selling one car, sabi niya, oh, let's go. I'll treat you for lunch at the Hilton. I said, mm, okay. But then we were not able to have that appointment because Hilton got burned in oh, 1978. Okay. Oh. So anyways, uh, alam ko naman na makikita kami the day after. After the third sales, she said, Halika na, diretso na tayo mag-lunch sa Hilton. I'll treat you. <laughs> okay. So we went. Yung pala, free ang models. And I said, well, uh, I cannot have lunch here. I'm not a model. Who knows you're not a model? I said, okay, then we had lunch. First, she introduced me to 
Tita Conching. Sunico. And Tita Conching was having lunch with uh, somebody important who looked at me and uh, and then I'll tell you later who that guy is, who that man is, was. And then she said, oh, can you please accompany me downstairs? I have to get my money. Okay. And this Tita Conching was there and she said, Ah, so you're Annie Marcello. Who do you think you are not showing up in appointments? I said, I don't know any. And there's a, a mirror at the back of her and Melanie was doing like that. So she understood that I didn't know anything. Okay, can you please wait, uh, walk for me? I said, I'm sorry, I didn't come here to apply as a model. Audition, no. Pasok dito, labas done. I need you for my show in January. You know what? I'm really sorry. I just want plain yes or no. Yes, Tita. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Yun na yun. That yun was na yun. the ano. Yeah. And then, Annie, tell me lang, kasi hindi ko naman na ano yung generation na yun. How was it during those times? During those times? Well, I started with the Hilton and I had to leave. Uh, we left for Kuala Lumpur and Singapore and coming back, I left okay. Okay. because of personal reasons and I resigned. I told Dita Kwan Ching that uh, modeling is not my line and she said, Sayang Annie, because I know you'll go, a, you're, you'll go a long way, you'll go far. And but I have a question. Is it because of a Gary Flores or a Boy Saulog and some other names? I said, I don't know them. I didn't know anyone in the fashion you know, business. And so she said, mm, okay, but I need a favor. Honey is sick and can you do the show from tomorrow? Four days only. I said, sure, I'll do the show, but you don't have to pay me. It's my goodbye show. Oh. <laughs> so, Friday, uh, Jean Altavas came because she has an envelope uh, from Malaysia, from Kuala Lumpur. And she came to watch the show. And on the phone, when we set the appointment, she asked me to bring my pictures because she heard that I became a favorite of, uh, of the photographers in mm -hmm. Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. Mm -hmm. So I brought the pictures and then she said, after the show, she said, Ah, oh, that's not it here. I'll take you, I'll treat you for Bibinka and Halu Halu at the Hyatt. That's my favorite. Okay. So, yeah, punta kami na ang Hyatt coffee shop. Annie, I want you to meet Gary Flores. The director, yes. So, that's Gary Flores. Oh, oh. <clears throat> ah, what do you do on Sundays? I go to church, then I uh, go around with my sons. Your sons uh, know how to swim? Yes. Come on Sunday, bring your sons. They can swim, they can have bibinka, they can have halo halo, they can have everything. I said, okay, I'll check and I'll let you know. So, Sunday we went, after, in the afternoon we went to the, to the Hyatt. And after all this, um, Halo Halo and everything, uh, Jean said, come, I'll uh, tour you around the hotel. Okay. Then, at the, at the elevator, the elevator opened and four or five models came out. And they said, Sinis na it is. And I didn't understand that. You know? That's the gay lingo. I didn't understand oh, that. Oh, and uh, Jean said, you know, with the mataas na kila. No. So we went up to the uh, H, uh, PR office and then she brought me to the um, uh, top of uh, the Hyatt La Concha. And then she said, Ani, I'm sorry, but we have a pictorial. Hindi wala? What? <coughs> yes, for the May show. And it will be you and me. So I went back to Tita Kunching Monday. Oh, oh, come Monday. Oh. I said, Tita Kunching, I have to tell you, I have to come back here and tell you that before you get surprised on Wednesday, you will see the publicity of uh, uh, La Concha with me and Jean Aldavaz. And she said, 
I won't be surprised. And I know you'll go far. You're not angry with me. You told me you didn't know him. I really didn't know him. I believed you. And she said, remember this, you'll go far. I went far. I know. <laughs> Ali, <laughs> ayoko na mag-concentrate sa Pilipinas. Saan ka nagsimula sa abroad? Um, at the beginning, mm -hmm. I, uh, okay. okay. It was still 1979, mm -hmm. and, and I was already 27 when I started Time modeling. Yun, oh. I turned 27 in September, and my first show was January with Rudy Fuentes. And um, and then I left. Uh, I left in Mar we left in March. We came back in April and May. I started at the Hyatt. Okay. Then uh, July of 1979, the PR said, "Annie, there is a telefax, fax phone, okay, fax okay. phone, or, or you tell not, even, tell not even tell fax, oh. uh, something uh, coming from." Um, Bob Dunn of Malaysia, okay. asking us to borrow Annie Marcello from the Hilton Hotel. Oh, and we're not answering this. We let him think that we borrowed you from the Hilton Hotel. <laughs> so, Bob Dunn came. I did a show for Bob Dunn in July 1979. The, shows, the luncheon shows are all one month, you know? We do it uh, uh, from the beginning to the end of the month, luncheon show. It's of everything. Every day, Monday to Friday. Yeah, you earn well. <laughs> so anyways, um, Bob Dan came and he said, Annie, you may not remember me, but I already have your ticket and you're coming back to Kuala Lumpur with me. I said, why? Because I have a big show and you're part of the show. Okay. <laughs> Pero, makukonsider mo ba, Ani, na reluctant model ka nun? No, at the beginning, oh. at the beginning, I didn't, you know, I uh, I didn't want to be. I oh. never wanted to be. You know, the guy, the man who was with Tita Conchin, oh. that was Oreo Alonso. Ah, si and the reason why Tatang was looking at me, Tatang oh, oh. Is the be was the best friend of my mom. They ah, went to high school okay. together. Okay. So, so... He was looking at me because I looked like my mom, but we never met. We met when I was 15. My mom brought me to, to him because he asked for me, and because the models were Mataray, and one of them said, why don't you go back to your cradle? So I went back to my cradle. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, Ani, kasi, I, from what I gathered, you know, marami akong, siyempre, marami akong nakausap regarding, dati paano, Pagkakwento naman ko po kay Ani Marcelo, kumusta yung kanya, ay, ano yan, sa international. An Malaysia, di ba? After Malaysia, saan ka After pumunta? After Malaysia, Hong Kong. Yun ang balitaan ko, Hong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong gave, it was the gateway. Oh, the gateway daw. gateway to my success. And you were really big there in Hong Kong. Okay. Um, 1981. Okay. No, 1980. Uh, June, Kiki Fleming. Have you heard of Kiki Fleming? No. She's uh, she was the best uh, choreographer, fashion show directress. In Hong Kong. She was my fashion show directress in Hong Kong and in Zurich. Oh. So anyway, uh, I first uh, she came to Manila because Cathay Pacific and Hyatt Hotels were bringing um, Filipino designers, Hong Kong designers, Filipino models, Hong Kong models and European models okay. to Australia, sure. always four cities. And that time, she missed one Filipina model. Okay. So she came and she watched the different shows with Gary, but she didn't uh, find anyone. So last, uh, last um, uh, place to choose a model was Silais International. Mm -hmm. Silais Hotel. Yes. And I just came back from Malaysia. And Gary asked me, did, he didn't know that Kiki will be, go, will be there. He asked me to uh, do the show for somebody. I think it was Beth Santos. So I went, and then I saw the girls all made up. And then during the show, talagang prepared na prepared sila. They were so, all so good. And then after the show, Gary came to the dressing room and said, Annie, 
You just came back, right? Yeah. You have your passport with you? I think it's still in my bag. Okay, from here go to the Hyatt because you ne they need to get a visa for you for Australia. Are you mad? She chose me. Then, in uh, November, the advertising manager of Mandarin International came to Manila at the office of Cesar Tadi International Cesar Models. Tadi, yes. International Models. Yes. 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 Yeah, with oh. Inga Schuchman. And this advertising manager looked at the 42 faces. Okay. And he, she said, I want this girl. That was me. you. So I went to Hong Kong to do the brochure of Excelsior Hotel. Dun mo na. Oh. But since I was in Hong Kong, Cesc had a deal with the agency. Ano agency mo dun? Sa Hong Kong? Well, in Hong Kong, you don't need um, just one agency. Oh, okay. They allow the girls to work Naman. with with Other whoever ladies. gets oh, them. Tama, okay. So there was a but the first person I met is Irene, Irene Tan of Irene's baby. And then there's Richard da Silva. Have you heard of him? Parang and he passed away. Silva, okay. Yeah. He's a he's a very good he's a very good dancer. And then there is um uh, Anna Law, uh, catwalk models. Okay, oh, in Hong Kong yeah, no? Yeah. And uh, but then of course it was Irene's baby that sent me all, to all the um, to all the castings that I did during those ten days that I was there. And of course I I called Kiki Fleming because uh, she I became her favorite when we were in Australia. And then she said, "Oh, Annie, I was about to uh, call you in Manila because I need you in February." And uh, she said, Basile, we're, uh, we're opening the shop of Basile, and you're one of the 28 models that are performing. So, tumagal ka ba sa Hong Kong? I was Ilang living year? in Manila and then ah, going... Ah, between uh, Hong Kong and Manila? Yes, yes. Hindi ka nag-decide na mag-stay? No, I have my children. Hindi Excuse naman pwedeng dalahin. No, and, and, I, no, and I have my jobs. Here, in Manila? No, in, Man ah, in Manila, Manila pala, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, ah. okay. I didn't work. I never worked as a nurse, but I worked as an X-ray uh, technologist okay. for five years. Then I became an X-ray consultant. Okay. And that time, as a consultant, I had more time. So I was selling cars. Then I became a model too. And then... Um, like international pa sa Hong Kong. And then in, from 1981, I became international. Yeah, yeah. from Hong Kong, saan ka na pumunta? There's... there's uh, what, KL and Singapore, right? And ah, then okay. Hong Kong. Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, then Hong Kong. And, and, then, and then I went to Paris. After uh, no, Asia. No, I, went, I went to Paris in 1983. Mm -hmm. No, in Asia, well, from Hong Kong, we were always uh, <laughs> shipped to Jakarta or wherever, ah, yung, well, wherever uh, the uh, shooting uh, is uh, and, or wherever the, the show is. But uh, so I went, uh, I went to Paris. In 1983. Okay. And then because I planned to escape from my husband. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Madame Gray sent me a contract, a non existing contract, so I can leave. And I left February 1984 with the excuse of uh, going to Paris for three months. Mm -hmm. And I left with my baby. Never went back. Oh, okay. My children were supposed to follow me because I already paid half of their tickets. Okay. But when my husband went to America, to California in December 1984, he brought with him the passports of my children, oh, the children. without the children. Oh, without without the, children. the children. Yeah. So from, uh, uh, from Paris, it wasn't easy to live with the French with the Parisian, they will never help. Mm -hmm. And I was a single mom, I have a baby, and when I go to the subway, I have to, takes a long time to, to, to fix everything. And when I was invited, I was sent to Milan. I was sent to Milan because the agency in Milan asked the agency in Paris for blonde hair and colored eyes. Okay. And as a joke, oh. my agency in Paris, Glamour, uh, I was the newest, and 
they put they inserted my card in the middle uh, just as a joke oh, 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 oh. and the photographer Gabriela Moles who is still my uh, uh, Facebook friend now uh, she chose me Alaga. So among all ha among the, all those the are all the good luck you know the fortune eh, all of this thanks to God because everything, every step of my life, whatever, whatever it is, are all, uh, they're not programmed. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It just happened. They're miracles, diba? Yeah. Of God, diba? Mm -hmm. Imagine, wala ka namang kamalay-malay, diba? Mm -hmm. Hindi ka naman, wala ka namang balak magmodelo sa Maynila noon, pinapunta yeah. ka lang sa... <laughs> anyway, Ani. So I moved to Milan, I yon. never left. Oh, yan. Moved to Milan, Anong never left. Anong pinakamalaking show na nagawa mo dito? Or any campaign? You cannot or say, any... you cannot say pinakamalaking show because uh, all the shows are malaking. Are big, yes. You, for yeah. you, what's the even, best? Even the, even the high fashion shows in Rome. Oh, okay. Uh, the thing is, the thing <laughs> is, uh, during my time, like, when it's uh, when it's uh, fashion season, mm -hmm. let's talk about pret a mm -hmm. So we start with Paris, and then Milan, and then New York, mm -hmm. and then uh, London. Zurich, and and Dusseldorf. Ah, okay. No, well, I, I never wanted to go to London. Zurich and Dusseldorf. I am still uh, mm -hmm. using a Filipino passport. No, huh? Oh, Even I'm now. still now. Oh, Even oh, now. You, you told me. And um, I can easily get a visa from uh, the U.S., but. Uh, British visa is very expensive I and know. it's not easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it could be it could be easy because I got visas before because my daughter went there to study English for eight years uh -huh. since she was eight until she was fifteen. So, anyways, uh, because of that, and I thought I don't need I don't need London. I don't need uh, to go anywhere there. So. I, I never went to do the show. So, ano yung, sino yung mga kilalang designers na nagawa mo ng shows dito? Hindi naman nagyayabang, no? Tinatanong ko lang po. Kasi, tatoo naman, ginawa niya yung shows na yun. Annie, please, don't be coy. Please tell us. I'm also curious. Well, uh, most of the designers I worked with, they all passed away. Kahit ba? Yeah. Kaya may mga pangalan. Who are yeah, they? Yeah, but the, there's Versace, there's Ferre. Um, well, my godfather, Renato Balestra, because he was the one who made me famous in the Philippines, calling me uh, Snow White. Snow White? Yeah. <laughs> Why not Snow White? Because he was asked, who's your favorite among the locals? And he looked around. He didn't know our names. Ah, okay. So he saw me uh, uh, on the Snow phone. Snow White. <laughs> Snow White. Ah, <laughs> Pero Balestra, no? So Then. the following day... All the magazines, the newspapers, Annie Marcelo, Renato Balestra, Snow White. And that ah, was, that so was 1988. That was 1979. See, that yung was... mga nanonood, gusto ko lang pong sa Philippine fashion. Whether they are designers, models, production people, directors. Kasi lahat po ito, lahat po kami part po ng history ng Philippine fashion. And Annie here is one example of a woman who did her best. Actually, hindi niya naman talaga gusto, pero she still did her best and became successful. Annie, ngayong, can I say your age? Sure. Now that you're 72, mm -hmm. looking back at all your your experiences, your accolades, what can you tell especially the young ones out there who would like to follow your footsteps? Follow professionalism. If you have an appointment, be there 10-15 minutes before the appointment. Because the example is Kiki Fleming when she was still directing in Hong Kong. Just for casting, if casting is 9 o'clock, and you go there after 9.15, doors close. So you already lost the chance, the chance so. to be... Um, um, to get the job. To get the job, mm -hmm. yeah. And then during the rehearsals, if it's 9 o'clock, you have to be there 10 to 9. Uh -oh. 9.15, doors closed. Even if you're confirmed, you can be changed. Hindi babayaran yun. 
kapag ganun. No, well, kasi why will... Ka, eh, no? no, babayaran what? It's a rehearsal. Oh, kasi di ba minsan, you have to pay me, I, I can. No, you don't, you don't get paid oh, if ha? you don't do the show. Oh, yung mga modelo dyan nanonood, ha? Hindi lang, hindi lang, ha? baka isipin nyo, masyado ako nagtataray. You hear it from the horse's mouth. Siya mismo na experience niya yun. See? No, what? You get paid for what? You get paid for the job that you do. Mm, you get paid for the job that you were chosen. But if during the rehearsals you didn't come on time, but that is not all of them are like that. Oh, naman. In no. the Philippines, they are more lenient. Oh. So, it's. Uh, niya, one minute lang. Tanggal. Yeah, but uh, but that is that's why I said practice professionalism. Yeah, yeah. And one thing I can say. I was 27 when I started modeling. Luckily, I look 19. <laughs> it must be the genes. <laughs> and like now, they tell me, please don't say your age. Because you get uh, the, the people, especially ladies, women, who are younger than you get offended. Because they look older. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's, that's why I kept my my oh, brain nah, here, oh, cause nah. so that people will know that I'm shame, really no, I'm diba? really old. It's a it's a color of wisdom, diba? Ganun naman talaga. But I can can I you know can I say a thank you? Yeah, sure, I can sure. say thank you to Teng Roma. I oh, manunod that dyan. when uh, Teng Roma in uh, January nineteen uh, two thousand nineteen, he cut my hair really short. Okay. Very short, and from that time on. I didn't like color my hair. Ah, anymore. okay. Yes, it's easier oh, to do easier, that. Easy, actually, easier to maintain, mm -hmm. di ba? Ani, kumusta ka na lang ngayon? What do you do now? Okay, I'm retired, but I never worked full time. Uh, I never had a contract uh, as a as uh, an employee because I was hired in 1989. I was hired by a fur company, Delera. It's a a very very good uh, and a big uh, company fur company to be the house model so i got employed and thanks to the lera uh, i was able to work for 25 years and uh, and i am uh, i'm now retired but the retirement pay is very low and uh, so i still teach english because I left modeling in 1999, and from 2000, I joined the School of English. Okay. And after five years, I was selling the course. After five years, they promoted me. They gave me a position. And uh, until nine, until 2013, and I resigned in 2014. They never took anyone to uh, for to my, replace to you. replace me. Yeah. And uh, from 2014, I started teaching. I started teaching to companies. Yun, no? Companies. Managers. And even nung nag-pandemic, nag-Zoom ka na. Managers of companies. Na. Yeah. Oh. So during the pandemic, I was earning. Earning. I oh. was earning. Samantala ni iba tayo, because, tayo sa Pilipinas, medyo ano. Because si we Annie had lessons, lessons online. Sa Zoom. Oh. Lessons online. You know what, Annie? I would like to really thank you for saying yes to this interview. It's hard to it's hard for me to convince people of your stature to really face the camera nowadays. I Why? thank you for I don't know. Anyway, I mean, we're least, still alam niyo ba na alam niyo ba hindi ako nahirapan kagabi ko na siya kinausap o ngayon, ni interview ko na siya, di ba? Anyway, Annie, thank you very much. There's a lot of things to look back to. There's a oh, lot of ma. things to be thankful about and why? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, uh, <laughs> But I'm grateful that you said yes. Mm, I'm really, you. really grateful. It's an honor for me. Uh, being a younger generation in fashion, syempre narinig ko yung pangalan mo. Natutuwa ako na nakakasama ko siya. This is the third year na magkasama tayo sa Italy, di ba? Yeah. Oo. Thanks so, to thank God na Balik sa Basic. Oh, thanks to Balik sa Basic. At saka, si, si, ano, si Annie did the training of the models here before we arrived. So I'm really thankful for her to really de sharing herself to the young, to the young mga bata, di ba? To the young. To the youth. Oh, to the youth. Tapos, ito pa, nagpaunlak siya sa interview na ito. I just want people to know the people of the fashion industry, present or past, for everybody to learn lessons from. So, thank you, Annie. Well, I hope. I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure, Annie naman. I'm sure.
Okay. So thank you, thank you. and grazie and thank mille. You. <laughs> Prego. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Bye.